Hey guys, I've got a few errands to run and things to do around the house and I thought I'd bring you along with me and Aubrey. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today, I have just a few odds and ends to do around the house and some errands to run, and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and enjoy some of Aubrey's company. Okay, so the first place that we are gonna go to is Michael's, where I'm hoping to get like some silicone molds and also to pick up the painting that Juan and I did we got it like wrapped so hopefully I think that they're done um so we gotta go get that first and I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like okay Aubrey we're here let's make a good choice okay thank you good job here Oh no, the battery died. Aubrey, show mommy what you have. We're gonna get a shopping cart at the next door, okay? Show mommy what's in your hands. Gummy bears. We're gonna get the mold so we can make some gummy bears. Oh, awesome. Yay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go check out. Say check out. All right, it was fun. I think I've said in previous videos, like, I'm starting to feel a little less anxious when I bring Aubrey out with me or letting her help me with things around the house. So I'm thankful for that. I didn't I think I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did go back on my antidepressants just because I've realized like without them, I have very scary thoughts. Not like I'd ever do anything to myself, but I think about it. And when I'm on my medicine, I don't really have those days. So that was something that like, I don't know, I really, I felt like I needed to go back on my meds. So anyways, um, I think they are helping me with my anxiety too when it comes to having her with me. Obviously shopping by yourself is very relaxing, but I don't know, I I, I like having her with me and I'm just very thankful that the anxiety level is low. But I bought some like succulent little silicone molds the other day and I was deciding like, oh, well, I wanna get some more. So they have like a bunch of different options there. And she's been into like gummy bears lately. So I thought I'd make my sugar-free gummies using these silicone molds. And now we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree. A while ago, I picked up this little bingo game that I showed you guys in a haul. And we recently opened it up and it is so awesome just for a buck. But I want to go see if they have more of that. And then I also want to get some more of the freeze-dried strawberries because we are using those up and I still haven't found a better deal. And obviously whenever I go into Dollar Tree, I'll probably walk out with more than I intended. So let's drive over there and see what they got. They have more. These things are so awesome. I'm getting at least three or four. <laughs> They're so awesome, you guys. I'm also getting glow-in-the-dark footballs. Huh, Aubrey? Are you my helper? Uh-huh. <laughs> you want red? Mm -hmm. I want red green. There is no, oh, there is a green. Do you want red or green? Which one? Green. Okay, give me the red. We trade. Green, here we go. Okay, we're gonna keep shopping, okay? are cool. In the past they've only had like really big ones so this is gonna be a fun etching project. And then Aubrey. These are also fun and I promised my sister I'd make her one. Ta-da! 
This is so, I'm so happy to see all of this. So we got the freeze dried strawberries. I tried the apples, they were pretty good too. So I'm gonna get some of each. Okay, let's get daddy a treat. We can't forget about daddy. What do you have there, Aubrey? Yes, you do. It's going to be so yummy. Let's get buckled and then you can enjoy them. All right, we got our snacks. Aubrey, is that yummy? Mm -hmm. Do you approve? Mm -hmm. Say, I approve. Uh, I approve. Okay, well, that was fun. Uh, it was definitely picked over in the Easter section. Uh, but they've had that stuff out for like a really long time. I am really proud of myself. I pretty much stuck to my list. There's like grabbed like two or three things, but that's a lot better than grabbing 20. Uh, now we're gonna go grab some Starbucks. Now, if you guys followed me for a while, you know I have a bullet journal and I try to have perfect days. And I'm gonna talk more about like readjusting my goals later on since it's a new month. It's April 1st today. But I finished one water and that is gonna be my new goal and I'll explain more later. But I have to reload my Starbucks card and I'm gonna be using Pay With Ibotta. I did a whole video on the Ibotta app and how I save money with that. And I'm pretty much gonna get like my Starbucks today paid for with my rebate money. So if you want to learn more about how to save money using this rebate app called Ibotta, I will link that video up above and down below for you to easily click on it and learn how to save money and hopefully use my referral code too. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll head home and have some fun. All right, so I'm gonna open Ibotta. Then I'm going to do gift cards. I'm going to pick my favorites. I'm going to get 2% back from Starbucks. And I'm just going to do like 8 bucks. So I'm going to earn 16 cents, review my purchase. And then I'm going to apply my Ibotta earnings. So I have 9.15 available right now. So I'm going to do that. And then I don't even like have to pay with my credit card. I got my card, so now I just have to copy this info and add it into my Starbucks app. Add a gift card, paste that number, come back over here and copy the pin, and transfer my funds to my gold card. And unless Juan watches this video, he'll never know <laughs> that I uploaded more money to my gold card without actually spending our own money. But from here, it is now time to start my order of my favorite way of getting a iced caramel macchiato with some extra stuff for at least a dollar, if not more off. I have a video tutorial on how you can do this for yourself. I will link the video up above and down below in the description box for your convenience. Okay, so we're waiting in line at the Starbucks now because it was like in the same parking lot. So anyways, it reminded me of this funny idea that I have for a video. Let me know if you want me to do this in the future, but we have this realistic raptor mask that Juan bought because Aubrey is into dinosaurs. And I was like, how funny would that be if I order normal, like where they have the little camera um, at the drive through window, but when I pull up to the front to get my drink, I have the raptor mask on and just like record people's responses. Let me know if that sounds like a video you guys would enjoy watching. I know it's not like my normal content, but I thought it was funny and you know, it. I'm wearing a mask, so um, yeah, let me know in, in the comments below if you want me to do that. I have no fear. No one's gonna know it's me anyways, so I have nothing to lose. Ta-da, this looks magical. I'm so excited to eat this when I get home. Okay, so put on a jacket because it's a little chilly. I laid Aubrey down. She is now sleeping or at least being cozy in bed. And it is my time to be productive with what I need to get done today. So since it is April 1st, I have to fill in my goals for April. This is for March. Before I even talk about this, it's worth mentioning if you have no idea what this is, uh, I'll link my bullet journal videos like up above and down below so that you guys can get like a better picture and clearer understanding of what my bullet journal is and what this goal tracker is. But my goal for each month of this year is to have 15 full columns and that's like what I consider a perfect day. So for March, I was able to achieve that and I slightly modified like midway one of my goals. So 
what I've noticed is like, I really struggle to drink water. And whenever I have a flavored beverage early in the day, that's like all I want to drink the rest of the day is something flavorful. And I rarely drink my water. So originally, like a couple years ago, my goal was, okay, I wanna drink like four of these waters before I can have anything flavored. And I realized that was just so unattainable for me. I just wouldn't achieve it. And so I was like, you know, this is a, the whole point of my goals is so that they're just attainable, but still like a struggle. And so I still had the goal of drinking four waters, but I cut that down and said, okay, well, in order to have a perfect day, I have to drink three waters before I have anything flavored. And then that fourth water can come at any time. It can come before the flavored drink or after, but if I want a perfect day, I have to have those four waters. That worked for me probably for like a year, I wanna say. And recently I've noticed that like, on days where I want to have a coffee drink early on in the day before that third water is had, I would just not drink any water that day and be like, well, you know, whatever, it's my off day. And then I wouldn't achieve like any of my other goals. So I'm changing that goal to, I have to drink one water, then I can have any flavored drink I want, but I, if I wanna have a perfect day, I still have to have four waters. And I'm hoping that that will kind of motivate me to still drink water even on days where I have coffee as my first drink of the day because that's still like one of my goals is to drink water and I shouldn't be like totally cutting it out on my off days when I have a coffee early on. So I'm tweaking that and I'm also going to set a goal for myself of like having 20 um, columns filled where I actually do my arm workout because as you guys can probably see on this page, like this is my arm workout section, this like thickest chunk out of here. And I really only do my arm workout on the days I wanted a full column. And that's kind of like not the point. The point is like, this is my daily goal to do my arm workout, like to do each of these arm workouts and squats and whatever. And I shouldn't be only doing them on the days where I'm gonna have my full column. like. My real goal is to have like a solid month filled. So I'm gonna set extra little goals and fill this in right now and then get working on a craft for my cousin and his fiance. I'm working on their like bridesmaid and flower girl bags and I'm doing a design with that. So I'll show you guys that when I'm done. But yeah, let's fill this in and mark off the things that I've already done today. I have just finished like all eight of these little designs and they are for, like I said, my cousin and his fiance for their wedding. Aubrey will be one of the flower girls, so that's why she got a bag, but she has been awake for a while and I gotta go get her out of her crib. And once I get her out, we'll probably go on a nature walk. So come along. Doggy poo-poo. Doggy poo-poo. What is that? Is that a good choice or bad choice? Bad choice. One. Two. Two death walls. Holy egg. What do you hear? I hear a car. You hear cars? Mm hmm What else do you hear? I hear a car that I guess can match. How far we went in my bag. I fly Okay, let's find some berries. Look at berries. Oh, pick some. Pick some and some. I'm the guy I have no 
shopping. We got some berries and a leaf. Okay, let's go find some flowers. What are you looking for? Oh, Pitter Patter's gonna get it? And I need other cheese. Okay. What do you see on the floor? Look up ahead, Aubrey. What do you see? The little berries? Look, there's lots more. Are we gonna leave some for the birdies? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one do you want? I want pink. Oh, you want pink one? Okay, go get it. Do you need mommy's help? Mm -hmm. Say help me, please. Okay, here you go. Oh, uh oh, sorry. Beautiful. Okay, let's keep walking. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, look at that funny one. Look at that funny one. Yeah, there's an orange and white spot on the tree. Does that smell good? Does it smell good, Aubrey? No, not that. Smell the flower. You shoved me out of the way so you could smell it. Smell it. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for coming along in my productive day today. I think I got a lot done. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love to have you stick around. And can you say we'll catch you in the next one? Huh? <laughs> say bye-bye. Bye-bye. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.